everybody, it's Clint Cole back with Rusty Hinge Designs. Gonna do a pour today, or a swipe. Um, so I wanted to try some a couple of different things. We bought this Liquitex Basics Iridescent Medium, and you mix it with the uh, paint, and it's supposed to help keep it shiny once it dries. Because that is one of the problems when these acrylic paints dry, is, is it, cuts, it gets a really dull look. Of course, you can put resin over them, or, or some type of veneer, or something like that, and it helps. Um, but I, we were kind of curious if this iridescent will kind of keep it with the shiny look there. And then also, we've been using a lot of silicone. This Normally we use this silicone lubricant here, this blaster lubricant. And we've heard a lot of good things about treadmill oil lubricant, that it's supposed to be really good. So we bought this uh, spot on treadmill belt lubricant, 100% silicone. And I did not use any of the blaster, I just used this. I mixed it in with the paint and the uh, Floetrol and a little bit of water. It's so roughly about a half water, I mean, uh, half paint, half Floetrol mixture with a little bit of distilled water in there. And then just, you know, a couple drops of that, maybe three or four drops of the treadmill lubricant. Uh, and that's mixed in with all of them. What we were using is black, white, gold. Those are already all pre-mixed, but they're all the same one, this Artist Loft Flow Acrylic. Here's the gold one, but we got white, black, and white, uh, black, white, and gold. Uh, in the artist lot one and then the other colors I'm using are all craft smart acrylics um, from Michaels and this one is a uh, pure pumpkin we're using um, grape taffy and then we've got uh, red nice and easy <laughs> nothing fancy just red uh, dark yellow and I think that's it so what is that one two three four five six seven eight eight colors and um, I just want to do a swipe and see. I'm getting, I'm getting. I'm definitely happy with the silicone we've been using, so uh, it's not a problem. But I just wanted to see what kind of uh, cells we get with the treadmill lubricant, see if there's any difference, and then also once this dries, hopefully I'll remember to add another video and update you on the dry and show if it works or not. But sometimes, you know, by the time you get to actually doing that part so far, I forget. So, <laughs> but anyways, you'll at least be able to see what it, the final product looks like with everything else. So I'm just going to do some different colors, get a colorful pull, uh, swipe going here and we'll see how it looks. So I've got them all, all the colors are all pre-mixed in cups here with the Floetrol and the mix, mixture and everything like that. So, give it a little stir again before I go on there since they've been sitting for a couple minutes here. And make sure you always hold your stick before you pour because it will fall out easily. Now I may add some more black, I'm, well I could already tell I'm gonna have to, but I'm gonna add more black on it, but I like to first do a little bit and then spread it, so try to, you know, waste as little as possible here. And of course, that's a little off there. There we go. Of course you wanna get your sides here. I say this in all the videos, but I never know when someone's watching for the first time, so I'll say it again that we have we put a silicone mat below it. And when the colors start to mix together, they run down uh, to the mat there, and silicone it will not stick to it. I mean, it will it'll it'll stick to it when it dries, but but you can peel it right off fairly easy. You have to use a little a little tool. Oh, don't want to drip on there. You have to use a little tool like this to kind of get under it and work it off. But if you can work off big pieces and they've got cool patterns in them, you can use them to uh, put in jewelry. Like we bought a bunch of uh, pendants off of Amazon, and they're just basic, you know, hearts, squares, rectangles, different shaped pendants, and they come with like a magnified glass that you glue onto the pendant, but you can stick whatever you want in there. Now, now you can only stick a little bit in there, they're small, but um, yeah, but this stuff is so thin when it comes, you know, like it's on there and that dries, obviously I wouldn't do just black, but it's mixed together and it peel off, you want it pretty thin, you stick it in there and glue it together and it magnifies the little pattern. So if you've got some um, some cool patterns, you can make some cool jewelry. We will definitely do some videos on that. We've made a bunch already, uh, just kind of getting used to it. Plus it's something you can do while you're watching TV or whatever, so it's kind of nice. Um, but, uh, sorry, losing my train of thought. But uh, yeah, but it looks really cool. So we'll do some more videos on that in the future here, making some and showing you what we've done. Um, but it's a really good idea if you get into this. And like I say, you go to Michael's, these are like 70 cents to $1.50 each, depending on, you know, the sheen and that kind of stuff and the quality of it or whatever. But when you're getting started, you know, go spend 10 bucks on them. Get a little Floetrol at Lowe's. You can get it on Amazon. You can get it at uh, Home Depot. But the Home Depots that we've been to, 
do not have the big bottles of Floetrol. This is the white here. Uh, this is Floetrol for those of you that don't know. And um, you mix you mix this. Uh, I've seen different ratios with different videos. Some people do half and half. Some people do a little more paint, a little less Floetrol. Some people do the opposite. So you just kind of find what works for you. I generally find that half and half is pretty good. Um, either half and half or a little more paint is what I find. I don't think you need to do tons of Floetrol. Um, so, but you know, you work with it, you find your own mixture, see what works for you. Now, as you can see, it's a little messy. That's where the flow trawl helps it, where it's like off. Eventually it starts to go back down and get all even. But since we're gonna be swiping it, I'm not super worried about that. It's all gonna intermix together. And then even after that, the flow trawl overnight will level everything out. So it uh, comes out looking really cool. I really think the flow trawl helps it. Um, now some people, I, I'm not 100% sure if that's why it's doing it or if just the paint would do it naturally and the flow draw just kind of helps keep the paint separated. I don't know, but I, I think it helps level it. I'm pretty sure it's the flow draw that's doing that. So if I ever say anything that is wrong that you hear, then go ahead and feel free to correct me. Okay. Let's get that spread around a little bit. So I was kind of thinking about trying, it. I've, done, I've done these kind of swipes before, not, not the exact uh, mixture that I've got going on here, but I've done these, these, uh, this kind of pattern I'm doing, just the stripes in here and then swipe. I've done that many times. So what I want to try to do here is um, do black and white between each color and see, just, just you know, for the heck of it, see what it does. So I really got to try to be careful because I don't want the black and white to be that thick. I want it to be kind of, Thin, so I'm gonna try to get just a little bit in there. Come on and wiggle it just a little bit. You know, and it's not huge if you go like this and they kind of mix together. Not huge, but I still try to keep them separated until I swipe because I notice the cells, the bubbles, the cells start to form um, a little quicker than I want them to. And I do wipe the tool off each time too, so that it doesn't mix. Like I say, if you're doing a swipe, it's probably not. Where's my wipe? It's probably not the hugest thing, but that's what I do. So yeah, as long as I pour kind of quick, it doesn't go in there too thick. And uh, if you're watching this video because you're you haven't got into this and you're thinking about getting into this um, paint pouring and paint swiping and stuff like that. I gotta say, it's it's really relaxing. It's really fun to do it. It's just um, they don't always come out the way you, they. I shouldn't say they all don't always come out the way you want them to. They almost hardly ever come out the way you, way you pictured in your head. But they almost always come out cool looking, and you'll be happy with it. You know, and then you just can work at your technique um, as far as getting it uh, closer to whatever you're trying to do. And there's tons of people on YouTube that are. Um, that, that show you different techniques and show you how to how to do different things. So you should be able to find. That's how you know we get some of our ideas from them. And my, my wife uh, does this as well, and uh, on the same channel here. And uh, you know she's more into watching the videos and really getting techniques, and that's why she got the lubricant oil here and stuff like that. So I kind of leave that up to her. I kind of more just like to just experiment, and see what happens. Um, I kind of got into it and watched the videos in the beginning, and then I just said, okay, I'm a professional, here I go. <laughs> Where she truly does like to, to do, do good at whatever she's doing, I'm just like, go for it. <laughs> All right, so let's get this small amount of black there. It's really thin. I mean, your main thing you want, you just don't, you want to kind of, get on the canvas there and soak in a little bit so it doesn't uh, leave any spots. I've actually done it where I've swiped and done everything, like, like, kind of like how, actually I didn't even realize, see the white's mixing, I don't know if the camera's picking that up though or not, but the white right there, you can see canvas. So it, it should be fine when I go to swipe, but I still, I still kind of like to make sure that canvas is covered because uh, you'll get dry spots on there if you don't. See that yellow and black already mixing together, it looks really cool. All right, where's my white right here? Did I stir the white? And you know, we we use these little, and for people that are watching more than, I mean, as of the recording of this, we don't have hardly any subscribers, so I know not right now, but hopefully people will start watching this. For people that have watched a lot of our videos, you're gonna hear me repeat the same things a lot. The only reason I do that is because you never know when someone's watching one of your videos for the first time. And um, 
especially if they're learning, whatever you want to make sure you mention. So one of the things I found is these little paper cups are horrible. They are, they bend easily, they, they break easily. Um, the good thing is, is when they, we dry them and then we use them for stands right here and stuff like that, because we got multiple ones all over the garage drying. So they, they do work for that. They don't go to complete waste, but I found the plastic ones you can rinse out um, and reuse them over and over and then you're not wasting a bunch of um, cups. So let's go, you know what, let's go with the red here. This one's a little bit thicker. I probably, I mean, probably the rest here, I just kind of ran out of room. To, I, I did put water in it, but I kind of ran out of room there, so this one might be a little bit thicker here. Yeah, that's definitely thicker. But I, I think since you're doing a swipe, it's not going to be that big of a deal. If anything, it might help catch a little bit easier. I really don't know. I'm just guessing. I'm guessing at this point. Alright, that works. And you definitely want to wear clothes you don't care about. <laughs> Dirty clothes for sure, because you're gonna get paint. Um, a lot of people wear gloves. I just don't I don't like wearing gloves. I, you know if it's if it's toxic obviously I'd wear gloves, but this is all non-toxic paint, so I'm not worried about it. It washes off fairly easily too. I'm sure you don't want to get any silicone on your hands, so I guess technically, I guess technically it, is, it could be dangerous, but there's so little in there and I, I don't know, I wash my hands right away. Hey, who knows? Hopefully I'm okay. Alright, let's get the white. Oh, oops, almost forgot to wipe that off. So if you can get the sides while you're doing it, that definitely is a good time to do it. When you do the big pours where you kind of got a bubble or something nasty in there, let's get it off. When you do the big pours and you move it around like that to, to get it to cover the sides, you're, you're fine. It'll kind of, you'll get the sides just from the natural turn. But when you're doing kind of a swipe like this, it's a little harder to do it. And I'm already noticing some spots here that I missed on the side, so. Let's we'll see if I got any on this side. This side's not too bad. Alright. What color do we. Oh, black and white. Black and white, black and white, black and white. So we're getting close to swipe time, my friends. The best part of the video. The best part of waking up. Cream with paint in your cup. <laughs> See, another good thing about doing these videos and doing these pours is uh, you like a therapist, except for they don't tell you all the things that's going wrong in your life, you just get to talk to yourself. It's a self evaluating therapist, I guess, is what you'd call that. Or not, that's what I'm calling it. I don't know, what can I say? I just enjoy doing it, okay? Okay, get off my case, you guys. Get off my case. Let's go with some beautiful orange. Stir skis, get it smooth again. Oh yeah, this is looking cool. I'm liking that so much. I'm liking that so much.
Okay. And, oh boy. Got one more color. Am I going to be able to get my purple in here, I hope? I think so. I think so. Definitely getting thinner here towards the bottom, though. <laughs> you can tell it's like thick, 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 thin, then it starts to go thin, thin, thin. <laughs> this whole bottom purple here. I wasn't planning on doing that originally, but it kind of spilled over, so let's just do that. Now when you swipe, a lot of this should come on the bottom, but if you got enough, go ahead and just get it covered while you can. Okay, so. All right, so we are looking good. We are fully covered. The sides look pretty good. Let's see, that white right there is not fully covered, but white's not too big of a deal because the campus is already white, so it should be okay. All right, let's make sure I'm still recording. Yep, we still got battery power. We're looking good. All right, let's get our peaceful plastic here. And uh, spray just a little bit of water on the bottom there. I don't even know if that's necessary, but I spray water on the bottom of it. Uh, let's move this over here so I don't knock over one of these cups. That would not be good. All right, ladies and gentlemen, it's swipe time. So I'll let it get on there a little bit. Make sure it's caught. Make sure we're good. I think we are. I like to do a little wiggling so we get the nice bubbles. I mean, cells go in there. different. It's all said and done. You know what? It's gonna look different, isn't it? Let's let's just go for it and do a couple little oops, I don't want to do that. Yeah, let's just see if that kind of that experimentation, right? I've never done that before where I kind of wiped it afterwards like that, so let's see what happens. Kind of tap the sides here a little where I still see white canvas. All right, that's okay. Yeah, so I'm thinking the plastic is good, but sometimes it will. I need something a little bit harder that stays smooth. Um, oh yeah, I'm gonna have to find something a little bit better, but that's okay though. It still looks pretty cool though. So it looks like the, the it looks like with this spot on treadmill stuff that you get uh, a lot of cells from it. I'm noticing a lot on there. They're small, but I think that has to do with the swipe too. Because if I were to turn all this and move it, they would start to break apart and get bigger. It, see, if it would have pulled more evenly, you would have had these even things all the way across these rows here that would look like this and blend in where I had to kind of do these other swipes because that one I missed, as you saw when I pulled, kind of missed there. I didn't want it to just be that. It looked too odd, so I did these other ones here. So I think I, I think that's good. It evened out, but I would have been happier if it would have stayed solid all the way across the drag and got those nice lines. I'm still working on getting better on that. Um, I'm thinking, thinking maybe the paper towel did work better, but then you're just wasting paper towels. Um, so I'll, I'll figure out something. Maybe a, I've seen people use like the little plastic binder things or pages you put in binders to protect papers or you know baseball card type things. So I may look into getting some of those because they're probably a little heavier, a little, the weight of them will, will stay on the paint better, I imagine. Yeah, but let me know what you think in the comments. I definitely agree. If it would have been solid, I already said this, but I'm saying it again. Solid rows across would look much better. It looks a little right there, so. You know, but when it dries, it'll fade a little bit, and or maybe not, maybe we'll see if that iridescent stuff helps. So hopefully you guys like it. Let me get you a little bit closer here so you can see it a little bit better. I think you got the idea though. So hopefully you like it, or at least enjoy the video. If you don't like it, I hope you still enjoy the video. <laughs> uh, leave me a comment below and let me know what you think. We will see you on the next one. Bye.